Hello, happy Thursday. Welcome back to Wellness Thursday with the Naples Players. My name is Katie. If you've been following my videos for the last couple of months, you'll notice that we're in a different location. I have a lot of animals running around and they are being particularly bad today. So I've locked myself in this room so that we have less distractions, in case you were curious. We are going to begin standing today. Set up your mat the way that I have it. If you don't have a mat, that's totally okay. Long way, standing facing the long edge of the mat. Separate the feet a little more than hip width distance apart. And then point the toes slightly out. Lift the shoulders up towards the ears. And as you exhale, set the shoulders down. Shine palms towards the front of your space, spreading fingers apart soft through the chin, elongating the back of the neck. Close the eyes. We're going to welcome the breath here with an inhalation and an exhalation. Again, deep breath in and breath out. Inhale up into the crown of the head. Stand up tall. Exhale down into the feet. Good. Bring hands together at heart center. Pressing palms together, thumbs into the sternum. Have that be encouragement to lift the heart space up. Today is a totally wrist-free, hands-free practice. So we'll be moving through these postures without the use of our wrists tend to have wrist problems, this is a really beautiful practice for you. And if not, it's just a new way to explore your yoga practice. Good. And set an intention for your practice to explore, to exist here in this space, or just to stretch. Whatever it is works for me. Awesome. Then reach the arms out from side to side. Step the feet even wider, so take up space, known as star pose here. Squeezing shoulder blades together. Toes are still pointing slightly out. As you exhale, sink the hips down. Knees come over the ankles. Arms come into a goal post. This is horse pose or goddess pose. Reaching backs of the hands towards the back of your space. We're going to take this into a twist. So as you exhale, rotate the upper body over towards your right. Back through center. Rotate over towards the left. Try to keep the hips facing forward. Back through center. Twice more each side. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one each side. Nice work. Back through center. Sink it down just a little bit lower. And then reach back up. Taking it into warrior two to the right. So point left toes towards the long edge of the mat. Right toes towards the short edge of the mat. Bending through the right leg and bringing the arms out into a capital T. Virabhadrasana two. If you need to gaze at the video real fast, go ahead and do so. Pressing through the ninth edge of the left foot. Gazing out over the right fingertips. Taking this into a flow of reverse triangle, straightening the front leg, reaching the right arm back behind. Exhale, warrior two. Twice more. Inhale, reach back, reverse triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Last one. Exhale. Beautiful. Transition back through star pose. Point the right toes in, left toes out. Exhale, warrior two. Now facing the left side. Arms are reaching out, capital T. See if you can create some resistance as though you were pressing something down with the palms. Hug the low ribs in. Reverse trikonasana, reverse triangle. Inhale, left arm back, left leg straight. Exhale, warrior two. Good, inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Get that shoulder mobility. Inhale. 
exhale, warrior two. Nice work, everyone. Hands come down to hips, straighten the front leg, point all 10 toes back towards that long edge of the mat. We're gonna take it into a wide-legged forward fold. Hands are on the hips like a superhero, puff up the chest, send hips back, heart presses forward, forward, forward. Come into as flat back of a position as you can. Notice how the knees are feeling. If they're feeling a little wonky, go ahead and rotate the toes in towards one another. And then exhale, release, hands down, forward fold, head is heavy. Shaking head out yes and no. Making sure you're nice and loose. Then redistribute the weight more into the balls of the feet. Big old stretch. Taking this into a twist. Left hand stays down on the ground. Right arm lifts up towards the sky. Now if that's not in your body today and you're kind of hanging out with arms not touching the ground, no problem. You can put a soft bend into the knees. Bring the left hand onto the thigh or the shin and still reach the right arm up towards the sky. So you can meet me wherever your body is at. You can still find the twist. So try not to just tell yourself, oh, I can't touch the floor, so I can't do this, right? Yoga is not about flexibility. It's about adaptation. And then we release to switch it out. Right hand stays down wherever it works for your body. Left arm reaches up. Maybe you're really close to touching the floor on this side. Try bending through the knees. We're working on the rotation of the chest and the shoulder more than anything else. Nice work, everyone. Slowly release. Walk hands over to the right foot. Point all 10 toes towards the right. And then put a soft bend through the right leg. Stacking the right, uh, sorry, my back just popped and it felt really good. The right knee over the right ankle. And then slide shoulders back away from the ears. Option to stay here with the left knee lifted or lower the left knee down, depending on how you're feeling today. And whichever version you've chosen, we're gonna come up into a crescent lunge, lifting arms up overhead. So again, you can still be down on your knee. Same benefits. Beautiful. And then place the hands back down. Walk back through that wide-legged forward fold and over towards the other side. All 10 toes face the left edge of the mat now or the left side of your space. Bend the left knee, lowering the right knee down or keeping it lifted, presenting the heart forward. So try to take that turtle shell out of it. Instead, grow nice and long through the spine. Then we lift up, arms overhead, high crescent lunge. Nice work, everyone. Exhale, release that shape. Walk everything back in towards center. We're gonna toe heel the feet slightly in and come down to a yogi squat. So hips sink down onto uh, the soles of the feet. Now, if this posture seems impossible for you, um, then you can just come down, have a seat, and take that butterfly pose that we've worked on before. If this is, again, really close for you, but your heels are lifted, that's okay. If your hands need to be down, totally okay. Just feel that opening through the hips. If you're down on the ground, find the place where you meet the stretch. And we're here for three more breaths. If hands are down on the ground. Maybe try spider tipping the fingers so that the palms are reaching up. Good, and wherever you are at, use your hands to come down. Ah, so nice, good. Now extend the left leg long, right sole of the foot comes into the left thigh. Turn torso over the extended left leg and walk yourself down, stretching through the left leg. Take some deep breaths. If the left knee is bent, that's okay. I think more than anything, when you start to practice yoga, you just have to tell yourself it's okay. It's okay, as long as it is feeling 
good in the body, it's okay. It's okay if it's challenging. It's okay if it looks different. It's okay. And then taking this into a side stretch, walk yourself back up. Left hand comes to the inside of the left leg now. Reach the right arm up by the right ear. You might already feel a stretch along the right side body or begin to tilt like a ballerina, reaching the right hand over towards the left toes, rotating heart space up towards the sky. And then come back, uh, noticing any difference. And we switch. Right leg extends long, left foot pulls into the thigh. Turn your torso over the extended leg. You can even like really feel that rotation, right? And then walk the hands down, feeling the stretch along the back of the right leg, bright through the toes. What I mean by that is the toes are active. That's gonna protect your knees, just protect your joints in general. And then can you sit in the stillness for just a couple more moments? And the hardest part about stretching isn't the stretch itself, it's the patience that you have to have to actually get the benefit of a stretch. Good. and then walk yourself back up. Good, right hand comes to the inside of the right leg. Left arm reaches up, encouraging the spine onwards and upwards. And then tilt, left hand reaches towards the right toes, all the while lifting sternum up, up, up. Beautiful side body stretch. How's the breath? Release. Notice. Space. Good, we're coming on to our backs now. You can choose which side you face. Doesn't matter to me, can't see ya. <laughs> and slowly low down, low down, lay down onto your back. <laughs> Good, feel that length, spine being supported by the earth. I'm gonna take one round of bridge pose. So soles of the feet come onto the ground, middle fingers graze the heels. Press into the soles of the feet, lifting hip points up, staying active between the inner thighs. So you don't want the knees to really fall out or not too far in. The uh, femur bone is staying in line with your hip joint your hip socket. Nice, slowly lower down. Windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Good, next time they fall over to the left, let them stay there. And then walk your uh, right toes a little more towards the right. Gaze up and see if that femur bone is in line with the hip socket. You might need to walk the toes back a little bit more. As soon as you find that shape, you're going to feel a big stretch. It's a psoas stretch. And if you're not used to this internal rotation, it might feel a little intense. So I just ask you to stick with it. Or maybe it feels really good and this is a stretch you're going to start incorporating. Mm. Let out a couple audible sighs. <sighs> Almost done, my friends. <sighs> and slowly walk the right toes back in. Knees come back up, realign the spine. Windshield wiper from side to side. Next time the knees go over to the right, let them stay there. And again, walk the left toes out now, a little more to the left, so you can see it a little bit better on the video on this side. Quickly pick up the chin to make sure that the knee, the femur bone, and the hip are all in one long line. 
And relax the head back down. And relaxing shoulders as best you can. And letting gravity take over. A couple of those audible exhales. Slowly walk the left toes in. Windshield wiper. And eventually bringing both knees onto the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Either drawing knees in towards the chest or towards the outsides. Whatever is more comfortable in your own body. And then release. Final Shavasana. We're not here for very long but this is arguably the most important pose in our practice. Eyes soften, the muscles melt away from the bones, supported by the earth and breathing naturally. It's a state of rest, letting all of the benefits of the postures soak into the body, absorb into the system. I'll let you know when it's time to journey back. up the lungs 360 degrees empty them out empty 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 once more biggest breath all day all week and let it go rolling on to the side of your choice pushing yourself up to a seat. And when you arrive, bring hands together at heart center. We're going to end practice today by rubbing the palms together, creating that heat with friction. A little bit faster. And then place your warm palms on your heart. Feel that warmth that you created. Know that no matter what you're going through, you can always be here. You can always be here for yourself. Coming back to whatever intention you set at the beginning of class, whether it was just to breathe, to stretch, or to explore. Honor it. Take it into the rest of your day, the rest of your week, your month, your life. Thank you for practicing with me today. Palms return to heart center. And to end, we say namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. I will see you next Thursday.